All right, that looks like it works. Exciting uh, intro. I think that will just get started. A, B, A, A, B, B, A, B, C. Uh, A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Simple as do or A, me. All right. It says I should press B. Left and right. Wall jump, of course, is enabled because wall jump is enabled in all hacks. Pushing L and R together does something. Oh, this is weird. Twirl is assigned to either L or R. It also spin jumps? Kind of? Okay, it's a toggle thing. That is interesting. Can I fly? No. Welcome! This is Fruitball City. Apple Boy is going on an adventure to defeat the evil Ice Cream Man. Alright. I was kind of hoping he'd be an Ice Cream Man, but I can live. Evil Ice Cream Man. <laughs> Fruitball City 1. Oh boy, it's this ass up. Alright. This looks familiar. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, well... Can't enter that. The shop looks interesting. I also notice I have three hit points. Apparently. Can I go in the shop? Nope. Can I go down the trash can? No, I'm not Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> there's an evil ice cream cone. There is no longer... No, there's still an evil ice cream cone. Is, is it in a shell? Is that what's going on here? Fuji. That is a type of apple, in fact. Aw. Oh. Cannot go in that one. Apples power you up. Bodies are apparently... I mean, it, he looks just like he's a normal businessman. I can feel kind of bad just kicking his ass. Because, you know, he just happens to be here in town and with, consorting with evil ice cream cones. Nice parallax, though. Can I go with this shop? No. Oh, what's up, Cap? How you doing? I wanted to go into the shop, but I'm not allowed. Not sure why. And I got the midway. I don't think there's any dragon coins, which should make this a bit easier. So I'm going to Fruitball City. Again. Test the midway. Okay, after you die, you only have one HP, which is nice. Apparently, don't shoot fireballs unless you have full HP. Interesting. I'm gonna get down there. Is there a wall? That is, in fact, a wall. Interesting. I think I just collected a Mountain Dew. Enjoy a good Mountain Dew from time to time, but still. Nope, this is just a really big pit. Want that apple? And that Luigi. Maybe it's a hint? Yeah, I don't think I can get in there. Unless there's a pipe somewhere. Or one of these shops will let me go to Luigi. Just for the time being, I'll assume... No, I can't make it over there. Which is unfortunate. I really wanted that apple. I'm a firm believer when it comes to apples that Granny Smith is the most bestest apple. Certain other people can argue for other things, but Granny Smith is the delicious tart apple. Alright, that was a level. Must have like 30 exits. So this might take a little while. Don't think Apple Boy's ever had a hack quite this long. Nope, no chance of that, because we gotta take the pipe. Give him credit for ambition, if nothing else. 
that's a valve. Yeah, I definitely didn't need to, to go get the valve. Alright, so he also heals from Pepsi. Pepsi and apples. Oh, spinball music. Man, that's a game I don't have any desire to revisit. I like the concept. Like, I really feel like someone could take that and run with it and make a really good game. I just don't think that the Sega of America did. Alright. I get the feeling... But that pipe... Well, I guess that we're in a... Alright. Um... Hmm. I'm thinking about that one. I'm gonna put a marker down, because that's just kind of weird. <laughs> Very weird. Want that map. Oh, that's just green Pepsi. Who wants green Pepsi? I'm not sure about green Pepsi. I'm also not sure how many lives I actually have. Like, the HUD's entirely gone, and so that. Unless, I guess maybe it tells me on the world map. There was no midway, I don't think. This is not where I expected to be let out, I'll be honest. 21. will go up. Can we make a marker to double check that there was no midway in the prior level? Sunset time. Where's Chaotix, though? I would totally play Chaotix again. That is an interesting game. Not good, but interesting. One of those, what could have been, if Sega had decided to actually throw their weight behind that instead of immediately going to Saturn. Or if it had been made for the Saturn. Oh, that's a way to die. Just wonder what that would have been. I need to stop doing that. How many lives do I have? Does it say on the screen? No, it doesn't tell me anywhere how many lives I have. I might just game over without even noticing. I'm not expecting to, but still. It is odd you restart with one health. Rather than three. Bit of a disincentive to, uh, to ever die, I suppose. I do kind of want those peppermints, though. Those look tasty. Let's not die to that. Oh, I get it now. It's like the, um... Not qu it's like the later Mario things. You get a twirl if you... You get that nice little twirl if you happen to press that in. It gets you a little bit of upward momentum. That explains everything, actually. I don't know why that's there, but okay. Well, this level is a midway, so I wasn't going to stay big very long anyway. I should have realized those are bullet bells, but somehow I just didn't put two and two together. I'm just looking at those and thinking, man, I just want to eat them. I haven't had a good peppermint thing in a while. I do prefer spearmint in general, but you know. I'll take a one up. Take a seven up. Kind of hope there'll be a seven up in this game at some point. A bit odd that goes in front of the garbage cans, but they're behind the garbage cans. But okay. I still can't get used to the uh, the L and R buttons during the twirl. There was a time when I was very used to that back in the Mario Maker 1 days, but it's been a long time since Mario Maker 1. A 
very, very long time since Mario Maker 1. Oop. Alright. Level mostly clear. 40! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that pipe looks wrong. Like, intentionally wrong, though. Huh. Wait, what? The pipe space. I don't want to go to the pipe space. Welcome to Pipe Space! This is a pocket dimension. To escape, enter the green pipe. Alright. Ah! You almost got me there. Pipe Space. <laughs> the street sign is a double cone. I love the double cone. There's no good reason for the double cone, but I love the double cone. That it looks like it's supposed to be sort of a mirror thing. Is that what's going on? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be sort of mirrored. What an odd concept. Yeah, it says shop. Uh, shoo, uh, it's upside down. I can't pronounce upside down things. It turns out. I wonder if this track came from a Sega game. Kind of sounds like a Sega game. Could be wrong though. You never know with Sega games. I think this might be the pipe I'm supposed to go in. Oh, that's Luigi! Huh. Took me a while to parse him. Man, what is Luigi even doing in this game? He has nothing to do with apples. 40. Ah, I really just want to get that 50 just once. It's been far too long. Far too long. The fruit bowl, a bowl construction site. Am I being chased by a balloon? Vertical level time, got it. Well, these are both walls, classic boo ring. Glad the boo ring isn't moving towards me. I can really use my cape offensively. Just want to see what's over here. Disappointment is what's over there. Like, literally nothing. There's no reason to go inside the boo ring. Woohoo! I'm fully apple charged. The power sauce. opposite of construction when you have saws kind of roaming around just doing whatever they want, but I'm no expert. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. A pipe up here. Okay. All right. Luigi. Luigi's just kind of like taunting me. I wonder if there's more to this story than I was expecting. Oh, hello. Uh... I guess I'll just kill this guy. Oh, punch out! That's what this is from. So I'm defeating an evil ice cream cone who has stolen Robotnik's ride. This is supposed to be like a new sprite. I feel like I haven't seen this in too many hacks up until like a few weeks ago, and now I've seen it in two. Not sure about the chain. I feel like the chain has some sort of problem, but it's aesthetic, so it doesn't matter that much. But I feel like this can be done correctly. I wonder if it's using a bad multiplication routine or something. Put a marker down just to investigate that later. Ask Appleboy what sprite. How many damn hits does this thing take? Oh, 
I'm actually getting bored killing this thing. Alright, I guess I have to land on the ground again before I can hurt him. He took like 12 hits! Hey, you get back here! That was a lot of hits. What the hell? That was some nonsense right there. But that's not the behavior I'd expect for a bad uh, multiplication or division routine. Oh, thanks for the GG. How you doing, Dick Feynman? Going to the Enchanted Forest. Some stuff finally showed up in the queue, so... It's kind of, uh... Time to see what's here. We have a lot of the... What am I looking at? Is that a... Like a mandrake or something? That's weird. Not apple at all. But yeah, Apple Boy put his hack here, so... I'm moderating it. It seems interesting so far. I remember seeing him uh, talk about working out on the Discord, so... He's moving at different rates? That's an interesting decision. Put Mario on the big screen as soon as you thought 55 inches. <laughs> you remember Desi. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, his, uh... His resub message is definitely definitely one of the more memorable ones. I'll give give that give him credit where credit's due. It is truly fantastic. Uh, I was actually watching him yesterday while he was doing some uh, journey to Silius. The game's got good music. I'm not sure I can stay on the same music for like three hours, but it's got good music. Ooh, better Pepsi. He also mentioned while I was actually watching that there was a bug in the, the Zelda 2 thing I was working on. Which turned out to be really important to fix. It would have been really bad if it had been code I had messed with instead of CHR. What is this? Why are there so many Luigi's? So very strange. Yeah, the bug turned out to be really stupid. I just updated something in a table and forgot to update its, uh, the place where I used it in the table. So, no biggie in the, in the end of it. I think that was an Airheads, like, mascot. Is everything here candy? I don't think there was a midway. I'm okay with that. 40. I feel like that's way louder than the rest of the music I've heard so far, so I'm just gonna put a marker down for that. Like, literally, only, like, silly markers so far. Lifesavers on vines? You know what this makes me want to do? It makes me want to play candy stand golf. <laughs> uh, that's one of those ideas I've had for fucking forever and still haven't gotten around to doing, is the day of mini golf games. Just, like, some Saturday, I'm just gonna, like, do an eight-hour stream that is nothing but mini golf games. Just start with Candy Stand Golf, because Candy Stand Golf is one of the best golfs. Can I...? Yeah, I can't kill those, okay. Wait, <laughs> did he remask that as like the... That looks vaguely more like the, uh, the Honey... Honey Nut Jerios Bee. Candy Kingdom. And Cereal Kingdom. Those both have C's in them. There we go, that's a midway. Into the drink with me. Lifesavers on vines. Okay, you only get fire up fire flower if you have all of your power-ups. You start small. I'm already missing the ability to hurl fire at things.
Hmm. How would I get up there? First off, need to murder that guy. No questions. Can I ride the... Okay, I can ride this. That doesn't... I guess I can kind of go around if I got a good jump off of him. Oh, I can get some momentum, too. Hmm. Gotta think about this. Really want that Mountain Dew. At least they go faster when you're interested in them. Oh, no, 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 no! This is the opposite of what I want. Not in Angry Bees. I do not need Angry Bees in my life. Come on. Come on. That was close. Actually, if I jumped off the edge there, I would have been fine. Alright, that's that's the ticket. Aww. I really wonder how many lives I have now. It's a question that's actually on my mind. Since if I fail, I do have to come back here and, you know, die. And do the stuff again. I'm gonna wait for the bees to, to do their bee things. Their beekeeping. There we go. All that for a one-up. Which I'm very aware of is not terribly useful if I die immediately. Yeah, give me the Pepsi. Oh, I also could, I guess I could use the twirl somehow. Mm. Really need to use the twirl more often. That's just a really, really orange fish. It's like... Alright, Mario World orange fishes. Mario Bros. Orange fish. I've collected more than enough stars to know that the bonus rooms have been disabled, so I guess I don't need to do that anymore. Got two 40s and multiple 20s, so that clearly is over 100. Down we go. Oh, shoot. I just realized I didn't enable their... Oh, that'd be... A, okay, I can't fix that. Oh, but the way Luigi looked there, I really expected it to be more quicksand than just water. Oh, there's a fish. I was wondering if there was something there. Looked weird. Alright. Quick midway. It's such a bummer to keep throwing those away. Need to replay the only NES game you knew as a kid. Go, Go, Go 13. It shows composer with Rygar, but it's far less, far less popular with a good reason. I have never even heard of that game. I've heard of Rygar, but I've never heard of that game. <laughs> if you, like, told me it was a JoJo character, I probably would believe you. Thank goodness for the permanent cape and twirl abilities. Is it also like a platformy fighter type game? Or am I misthinking of something? Or I think of something else with Rygar. This cape does not reach very far. Trying to think if I can fix this without it becoming a problem. And I think the answer is no. I forgot to switch back to the hack version of the chat client on the uh, screen. If I turn it on now, it won't look right, and I don't really want to restart for it, so we get what we get. Oh. Which way do I want to go? I guess this seems more practical right now. I thought that was a platform. It's not actually a... Well, it is kind of a platform, but it's not what I'm looking for. I think I want to switch. 
Being upside down is for the birds. These, like, hummingbirds or something. Like, are there many birds that fly upside down? I think it'd be kind of pointless to fly upside down now I think about it. To the moon! Oh, nice. He did that too. Always put a lid on your levels, kids. Just good policy. I don't know why I was so wor What? I was gonna stand on it! Nuts. Yeah, being upside down doesn't always work, right? Yeah, right now on my list, NES game-wise, it's, uh... It's definitely Gods of Olympus. Or Battle for Olympus. It's actually having a lot of fun with that game. A lot more than I thought I would, honestly. It feels like a version of Zelda 2 that's slightly better for me, though I do miss the downstab. But I think the fact that the various townspeople can speak in more than, like, 40-letter sentences helps. I think it might even be less than that. They, they really don't get much, much room in the ROM for dialogue. And of course, I always just enjoy the Takoda and uh, Fugue as a general piece of music, so... I approve when games and other things use it. There we go, now I can die in peace. Side scroll with a gun and bizarre jumping. And then an FPS with an on-screen reticule. There's swimming, maybe flying. That is a weird combo, I guess. I mean, not that weird. I guess kind of like Contra had many of those things, except for the swimming and flying. I mean, in the event you didn't... Okay, whatever. Let's take the door. It's not a pipe, though, so we have to do that. Kirby. I think? Isn't this a kid from Adventure Time or something? Yeah, how hard the Kirby boss is, is entirely based around what the arena looks like. Since there is no actual danger in this arena, and I have a cape, a permanent cape, the only way to die is by being a moron. And Game Overing, which has arrows in it. I should point that out. Well, shoot. I'm definitely setting my lives to 69 now. Now, either way, these levels are short. Brilliant. We'll make good use of the twirl now that we're not actively trying to play the level. I always feel bad at exploiting cape. Just it's just too powerful of a mechanic in general. Even it just hover, like look at this. Like trivializes everything. Sour Patch Kids. You play as Duke Togo from the 70s Japanese film. I think you have a sex in a cutscene. What the hell? Oh. That is interesting. Yeah, Nintendo only really enforced its uh, ideas about, uh, about certain types of censorship on the Western audience as opposed to their Eastern audience. It was a fun article, oh, I forget how long ago, about the changes they had to make in, I want to say, Manic Mansion? Shoot. That worked. Um, but they had to, like, censor one of their statues. They had, like, a kind of generic-looking Venus de Milo sort of thing, and they had to get rid of it because Nintendo thought they, they could see pixelated nipples. There were a few other, like, things where they thought that someone was referencing religion, and they said no. And said no to those scenes, so I had to rewrite them a little bit. Now that I've taken a hit, i got to be a lot more careful here. Oink. 
It's okay. That lifesaver is going to get what's coming to it. It does remind me of a bizarre lifesaver fact. The, uh, the wintergreen ones, if you hit them with hammers, emit blue sparks. It has something to do with the breakdown of crystalline stuff, and I think they're technically emitting something akin to x-rays, but, you know, it's not very much. I swear that the B is placed just to make it so that when I want that fun jumping off the slope, I can. Wait. Oh yeah, there's there's one power up here that I keep forgetting about. Better to have a power up than to not have a power up. There we go. I'm not going to run into the stupid life save. Never mind, I'm going to run into the stupid lifesaver. No dice, Cheerios B. That B spread is weird. I think I've only ever seen it in, in strange little hacks. I don't think anyone really used it anything serious, except maybe like there was that one level in jump. I don't even where the sprite came from. It definitely seems like something that could have been in like a Capcom game. Mainline Mega Man, but like, I don't know, like DuckTales or something. The other mud level was short. You know, credit where credit's due, his, um... His note blocks look correct. That's something a lot of people mess up. That's why you're here, you annoying ice cream cone. Come on. There we go. Want to see either DuckTales or Rescue Rangers? I could really see it go either way on that, yeah. That, that only feels like the right place for those to have come from, but I couldn't for the life of me place it. How you doing, John, uh, Black Sheep? Oh, for Pete's sake. Let's try that again. I don't need to go back to the Enchanted Forest. It's time for the Pipe Place. Or Pipes pla Pipes Pace. Yay. You know, being upside down and having Firefly is pretty awesome. Let's not fly off onto the top of the screen. That seems like a bad idea. But I am going to murder everything I come by. My revenge for running out of lives, because I don't know how many lives I have when playing this game. Wait a second. It's intriguing now that I think about it. I think I missed out on something the first time around that I might have not looked at if not for this. No, I'm gonna get the midway first to make this slightly easier, I think. Now nah, Luigi's hanging out there. I'm meant to be standing. Right, you can't stand on those upside down. You can only stand on them right side up. I just want to see what the deal with Luigi is. Like, Luigi's just everywhere. He's like, uh, Slippy. Slippy is everywhere. And so is Luigi. Mm. 
Yeah, just... Luigi's hanging out here. Alright, that's something. Get back on the ground. Luigi is not like Slippy. They're both green. I think that makes them pretty much the same character. How you doing, Fisk? You know what? I could just not land on the floor ever. That's an option against the Kirby boss, I guess. Except when he kung fu kicks across the room. Thanks, Lee Sin. There he goes. You ate too much? That happens when you make chili. Chili is a dangerous substance. You go back for seconds, and then thirds, and then fourths, and then you have to sleep off the chili and have a chili hangover. It's truly one of the most dangerous substances, edible substances in the world. Two bowls? Yep, that would do it. King D D D D D D D D D D's secret temple. He has dinosaurs. It's a pretty secret temple. None of that was on purpose. But I'm also not unhappy it happened. That was not on purpose and I'm unhappy it happened. Purchasing a couple high-end 20-year-old speakers now? I mean, 20-year-old speakers... Means they only came from like 2002. Seems pretty reasonable. Personally, I want some like decent speakers from the 70s. Like some nice wooden cabinet ones. If I was going to get any. I have to go back to the Atari 2600 aesthetic. It was a good aesthetic. Fifteen inch powered woofers, nice. Hi Luigi, you seem to be busy. That was pointless. Wood grain everything the LG mindset grind set. Yeah, you know, he's got a point. How you doing, Yoshi Adam? Like, I think there's something to be said for it. Like, wood is a fantastic material. It's you know biodegradable. It, um, you know, you can always make more of it. It's recyclable. You can turn it into paper after you're done. Like, wood's got a lot going for it. I think we should bring it back. Screw all this brushed aluminum nonsense. I want a wooden laptop. Doing all right, very addicted to Splatoon 3. I'm not surprised. <laughs> what the heck is this? Don't do that. I've heard it's good. I'm kind of surprised it came out so soon, but I guess the Splatoon was like a Switch launch title now that I think about it. So it has been quite some time. Wood with a nice veneer. Nice. Alpha. Dinosaur got me. But it does look fun. I've never actually played Splatoon, but it always looks fun. It does remind me a bit of, like, somewhat early Pixar in terms of how it does all its rendering and how shiny everything is, but even so. We could do a lot worse aesthetics-wise than that. Maybe one day I'll give it a shot. One day. Once I stop jumping into stupid obstacles. Okay. Yeah, some odd going on here with the, the things. The uh, sound is having a little bit of problems with the jump.
I need to stop trying to do that. Doesn't seem but it's been like five years since it came out. Yeah, COVID time. Oh, definitely. Backwards scoring your game kind of made you stop for a couple days. Think you'll get it working tonight. Having to add that was an awful surprise. That is unfortunate. I'd be curious to see how it works out. I was actually talking to someone the other uh, today about uh, about high schools. She's like, compare it. Said, oh, compared to the size that uh, your old brother's high school was, it seems about the same. I'm like, man, I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> I feel like I went to his graduation and then just pretty soon thereafter he graduated college. So, yeah, time it flies. Feedback on the game's been really good so far. Okay, nice, nice. I'll be curious to see how well it compares against whatever the uh, Space Skulls slash Bobble guy makes this year. Assuming he's entering, of course. Really need to stop doing that. Be surprised if you beat atmosphere placement. Didn't you get like fourth or fifth for atmosphere? Sixth, okay. Right, you were like one outside of the prize range that wasn't, congratulations, we'll get you a cart in like four years. By point oh one points. <laughs> Oof. Okay, Kirby. No, not Kirby. DDD. What? What is your deal? Hi. Okay, I can hurt him when he's on his face. Hi. Hi. You just leave him alone when he's not doing that. Disappointed because the game you lost to you think should place much lower. That was the uh, 6502 puzzle game, right? When I mean puzzle, I mean jigsaw puzzle. I thought that the overcooked uh, D make thing was actually pretty cool if it had worked properly on console. Which was a little bit of a bummer. What's up, Ace Rich? How you doing? I'm running into fireballs. Repeatedly. As I try to fight King DDD. Ugh. What do you put this game up as? Normal? Yeah, okay. the fireballs. That one worked fine, it just had a bad header. But that was the version that was submitted to the contest, right? Like, everyone who was playing it on an EverDrive or something would see it that way. Which probably did not help with, with judging. There we go. Good, looking for a standard hack to play? If you like suggestions, oh, for Pete's sake. Being a multiplayer game hurt it, yeah, but it was still an ambitious idea. I think it supported, what, like four players? If you wanted to get out the, the multi-tap? Like, it was an ambitious idea. Reason you opted not to do a multiplayer game, I do an eight-player game. Eight-player Yahtzee. No one will ever see it coming. I'm just gonna keep running into those. But if you want a recommendation for a standard game, uh, if you tell me a little bit more about what you're looking for, I might be able to give you a good one. Or standard hack.
That's not a standard hack of SMW, unfortunately. Unless you're going to port it to... Oh, I guess actually... Huh. Theoretically possible, since Max has in fact done porting Super Mario Bros. to the... To Project Carl for some reason. It's theoretically possible he could port that if he so desired. But I, I imagine he's looking for something more akin to... This. Or another Mario World ROM hack. An extra Mario Bros. is still on the list of things to do, I assure you. It's somewhere on there. But between normal and hard. Anything in particular? Looking for something kind of like Mario World, but more Mario World. Uh, like heavy chocolate influence, very light chocolate influence. Uh, weird plots. No weird plots. Because if you're looking for just some extra Mario World to play some extra Mario World, I'd recommend just picking up one of uh, Gamma V's hacks. Ah! They tend to be pretty nice in terms of, like, here is Mario World, but more Mario World. Um, if you want a good collect-a-thon, Bandicoot, can't go wrong with those. Um, want a weird plot, I'd recommend... I think Crack the Hack fits pretty well into hard-ish. Unless you go for, like, the extra stuff at the end, which is a little harder. But it's not, like, insanely difficult, very hard stuff. I just cannot for the life of me get up there. This game is very stingy with power-ups at times. I feel some levels have, like, a million of them, and then this level, for instance, has none. It's like a hidden one near the door. That's kind of like a common cliche. On the other hand, there's also a lot of spikes. Okay, DDD. not like this boss sprite. On the other hand, I don't like most boss sprites, so that doesn't really change anything. No. Ugh. You played all of Gamma V's hikes, hacks, you liked Luigi's Misadventures? This feels like a Dynamics boss. It would not surprise me. We've already seen um, Kirby in the last level. Um, and then a bizarre Robotnik boss, which I feel is new-ish. Because I don't think I've seen it in too many hacks except this and like Luigi's, or not Luigi's, Lakitu's Adventure 2. But, I mean, Dynamics seem to be the only person with bosses on the site for a fairly long time. But I've never seen this specific one, I don't think. He wasn't even moving! I feel like I'd be ultra careful about how I jump on this stupid penguin. To be fair, even if there was a power-up along the way, I probably would just lose it immediately upon getting hit by fire again. So if you're looking for something that vein, maybe uh, this hack needs a, a name, I think it is. That's another sort of lengthy um, 
very just Mario World, but more hack, if I recall correctly. Though I don't think I beat it in its entirety. Yeah, you just barely touch this thing. And it murders you. It even makes the noise and plays the thing, but no, you still die. I might go get some power-ups or see if I can find a power-up in this level, because... I want more than one hit on this thing. Are there any power-ups in this level? Ice cream cones. They do that. You know what? Prior level happens to have a power-up at the very beginning. Fire wouldn't help me, but having an extra hit would be nice. Generally hate doing that. But I'm very tired of just dying when I'm jumping on the boss. Like, I think you could only really jump on the boss when he's in his vulnerable state. Otherwise, you will randomly get hit. Well, it's still better than nothing. Okay. Bounce. 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 Can we not do the lengthiest attack you have? Oh. Like, I feel like I have to hover over him and hope that it oh. doesn't murder me. I do appreciate that he flattens himself into, like, a jetpack first. Please tell me you're dead. Okay. Well, that was an annoying boss. I want to be the guy who meets Super Mario World. It definitely has a feel to it in that direction. The sense that there's just an awful lot of apples, but it's it's just made by Apple Boy, and he likes apples, presumably. How you doing, Silver Fox Flame? There we go. Gonna go to Banana Beach. I want to go to Banana Beach. Maybe I don't want to go to Banana Beach. I think about it. It's definitely interesting so far. One of the weirdest mechanics is you don't have spin jump. Oh, I do have spin jump. No, I, you don't have, like, normal cape twirl. You can only cape twirl, kind of, with L and R. Ah, eh, pretty normal for star music. Kind of surprised, actually. And it's incredible normalcy. An awful lot of people choose strange star music. What? That seems like a bug. Poor dude just can't seem to do it. I right, gotta find me a pit to die in. DDD boss to the Mike Tyson music. The sprite looks like the kid. Fruit stuff definitely gives you the feel. Yeah, I can see that. The Mike Tyson music certainly helps in that dimension. That was like the only I want to be the guy boss I ever beat. It was Mike Tyson. That's that's the extent I got into the game, really. He got actually further into Boshi than I did in I want to be the guy. At least I think I beat what was the name Crackto or something, the Kirby Cloud boss. Nope, nothing up here. What's up, Luigi? Am 
my brilliant plan to, uh, to take the next platform did not work. You know, I could have used that to kill the piranha, to kill the lava lotus. Make the whole thing safer. There we go. Once played a hack where the star music was never going to give you up. I could see that. I could totally see it. I played one where there was, um, it was Avicii's levels. I actually really liked that as star music. Uh, most recent weird one I came across was in Hummer Mario where it's the Bowser's Overworld music. Or Bowser's Valley Overworld music. But Hummer Mario World is a, a thing unto itself. It makes enough sense in context. Actually got to see uh, BK playing a bit of that later. Saturday morning. Afternoon. Um, he found a bug I didn't, which made me a little bit embarrassed, but... I didn't think you could move during cutscenes, but apparently you can. Thankfully the game isn't completely broken as long as you don't actually move during cutscenes. Those are very red fish. Never trust a fish that red. Um, I've only ever seen one this red, and it was in uh, an episode of Cutthroat Kitchen. We were doing a camp bit, and they had decided to soak a fish in Kool-Aid overnight before allowing a contestant to use it for their fish dish. It, it was it looked pretty nasty, honestly. It was very red. <laughs> I would advise against eating any fish that is that color. No. It's strange when people use the Porky Puffer underwater because it's just not very effective. Like, you really have to build setups for that to work in a dangerous way, otherwise it just, he kind of derps his way off screen and is gone. Alright, no midway. Not that kind of red, but you use smoked salmon with beet. Okay, well then at least you know what went into it, right? That makes a huge difference. But I could totally see that being that kind of color. Probably be a little bit darker, more in the purple domain, because salmon usually comes up pretty pinkish. Well, it comes up salmon colored. Yeah, now I just want some salmon. Mm, salmon. More purple than red, but maroon still works. Yeah. I could see that being good. Did, did the beet really enhance the smoked salmon, I have to ask? Like, I don't really think of beet and smoked salmon as two great tastes rolled into one, but I could see it working. Strikes me as an interesting combo to smoke salmon with. Sometimes you just need to know if the cannon's actually gonna fire before you walk into it. I. But what? Beaten horseradish, okay. Interesting. I bet the horseradish was probably the dominant factor there. So, what killed me? Does it shoot backwards? No. I guess I was just close enough to, to the sphere when it spawned that it just kind of screwed me. Barrel. Luigi's <laughs> stuck over a barrel. It was. Beat had a lot of nice undertones though. Okay. Horseradish is one of those things I really kind of wish I liked, but I don't think I do. Like, every once in a while I think about getting me, like, a nice roast beef sandwich, and I look and say, oh, it comes with horseradish, and I'm like, eh, cool. Maybe we should give it another try. It's been a few years. I think last time I had horseradish was in, like, a Russian dressing. Or a Reuben, which is generally something I would approve of. Ooh, could there be secrets under here? This looks like a secrety place. No, no, just just nothing. Ah, we're at least midway tested. Banana pirate ship. Anchors away, my boy. You know, a ship made of ice cream cones would probably float okay, at least for a little while. 
Oh. Bomb. <laughs> Find a secret. The secret was death. I suspect the secret was not being able to get back up to the top. Or maybe there was yet another Luigi down there. At least there's a convenient one up here. Before I do something stupid. You know, I'm gonna leave you alone, bomb. You could you could be a bomb and just explode somewhere else. I don't need any explosions in my life right now. Nope. Ow. Don't you hate it when ice cream cones spawn right above your head and then fall onto your head? It's a common problem in some areas. Really wish this, lot, this hack had a few more power-ups in reasonable places. I feel like I get a lot more one-ups than power-ups sometimes. Okay, nothing there. His foot touched the air pop. Airhead. I think seen a horseradish with uh, Reuben with horseradish, but wouldn't be opposed to it. I thought horseradish was part of Russian dressing, and that Reuben's come with hor uh, Russian dressing. I might be wrong about this. It's been a while. Like that was probably what, seventeen, maybe eighteen. Alright, airhead. Leaving you alone. I'm mildly curious how far I can go underwater with this. I was kind of hoping for a boss to some extent. Oh well. Corn beef, beef dressing you can't remember it's sauerkraut? Yeah, exactly. Like, I like corned beef, I like sauerkraut. Those are clearly good things. Horseradish I could take or leave. Oh, horseradish instead of sauerkraut, yeah. I kind of want some sauerkraut now. Haven't any good kraut in a while. I think last time I had some sauerkraut was probably last year. Good old brat sauerkraut would be so tasty. Yeah, if you get too close, those things kill you when they go off. Not a fan. Wanted to see if, uh, when I get to the middle of the level, if I can do something silly. I wanted the Pepsi. That's why I did that. All I wanted was a Pepsi, Mom! Alright, here we go. Let's see how far we can swim under the ships. Complete curiosity cruise. I could have gone back, done on, gotten back on there. Here's a lovely view of the Munchers from underneath on our glass bottom boat tour. We can see some spinies up there, some additional cannons just in case. There's the airhead balloon. Finally, over here, we find that, uh, well, we missed the boat. Wait. <laughs> Alright, you can skip most of the level by swimming underwater if you honestly want to. There's no reason to, but you could. So, it doesn't really matter. Go to the beach. Beach, quite a fishy cave. Hmm. Sonic music. Let's go to the hidden palace zone. 
and I missed having access to Fire Flower. <laughs> Amusingly enough, one of the other hacks that's in the moderation queue is Mario Mania. I'm curious to see if it was inspired by Sonic Mania, though my suspicions are it is probably not uh, currently acceptable, would be my guess, just looking at the screenshots. But you never know, sometimes people surprise you. I guess it doesn't really matter how I die now, does it? Don't think Russian or Thousand Island Russian usually has horse radish in it, for the record? Huh! Then maybe I've just been wrong about that. Now I'm just confused. I'm gonna put a marker down because that was weird. He just sort of stared at the camera for, like, a second before I could do anything. But so far all the markers are, that's weird, not that's bad. So that's okay. I don't know what I thought about that brick. I thought, maybe I'll have to break that brick, but no, it took care of itself for me. Whee! Oh wait, is that Luigi again? Man, Luigi is everywhere! He's stuck in the ceiling! Stop being in the ceiling, Luigi! They have a Russian dressing. How expensive and natural was the sandwich? Possibly too much. Mainstream dressings are probably fine. I know how expensive the sandwich was. I legitimately do not remember. It was like five years ago and change. I tell you where I had it, but I couldn't tell you how much it cost. Oh, we're in pipe space again. It. Wait, what? Is it gonna keep scrolling down? It's gonna keep scrolling down. That's cute. Huh. That's silly, and I like it. Alright. 40. Um, as far as the natural nat naturality of the sandwich, I would say it was not terribly natural. I mean, I, I bought it at a bar. I, I think it was a vaguely Irish-themed bar. Maybe? Like, I wouldn't say I went to, like, the natural sand- ye old natural sandwich shop. Yeah, nuts to this. <laughs> it takes too long. I feel like that, those things in Yoshi's Island were tuned a bit faster. Midway, that was really easy. Oh, a bad Russian dressing up. Sorry, I misread that entirely. I think it's just possible that I don't like something that's in Russian dressing. I have strong opinions about certain types of food, like I generally don't like grapefruit. And generally, like, grapefruit is something you should warn people if grapefruit is in something because they may have medication that interferes with grapefruit. Or, uh, medication that grapefruit interferes with. Grapefruit is fucking weird, man. Luigi, why are you here? Like, is there plot to this? I'm gonna download this and see if there's a README now. I'm curious if I like, missed plot somewhere. Credits. Um. Nope. No plot. Just apples. 
Reference to Mario's Super Mario 3D World's Hidden Luigi's? I guess. Grapefruits are terrible unless you're an if you're junkie. Yeah, I think it can be like a nice accent occasionally, but I, I just generally don't want it. There was a bar I would attend, I'd go to regularly and just like make me a drink with this particular alcohol in it. And for the love of God, don't use grapefruit. That was like all the instructions I'd give. I'd still get really tasty drinks. <laughs> but I do not like grapefruit. Ugh. Come on. You can wall jump. All right, what happens if I land on one of these? They just launch me high in the air, which is completely not dangerous given there's nothing up there. Oh, what's up, Luigi? Alright, let's see who's in here! Never mind! Let's not take the high route. Upside down L it is. I keep hoping to find, like, an extra bit of... What? The right side of this door doesn't work. That's weird. Maybe I'm just misaligned. It's <laughs> a joke. So stupid. Did I win? No. Oh god. Oh, I got screwed. <laughs> Just the giant ice cream cone. I don't know. It amuses me. Maxicone's Whirlwind Castle. I guess things make more sense now. Like, that's a really short midway. Especially the non-trivial amount of this room and then the next room to pass. Weren't there also hidden Luigi's in uh, Mario Odyssey? Like, I vaguely recall finding Luigi's that would, like, give you coins at some intervals. But Odyssey has also been a little while. That might have also been a reference to the same 3D Mario. This boss, compared to the prior one, is much, much more lenient about when he kicks my ass. Right. Alright, beverage time. Like, the other one's hitbox was really... DDD's hitbox was really wonky. Whereas this one seems to be incredibly lenient. Oh, right, I can just do this. And you start giving people, like, a million possible things you can do. It's easy to forget some of them. Gotta hit him in the cone. That's where it hurts. Not the cream, the cone. Even heard it.
Still wondering if I'm like just missing hidden power-ups. There's some sort of aesthetic thing I'm, I'm not seeing. Ice cream. Oh. Pixel Luigi's in Odyssey and Pixel Toads in Treasure Tracker. Oh, yeah. And Treasure Tracker. That seemed like a fun game. What I would totally be willing to play at some point. I think I actually have a copy for, uh, for Wii U. One of the few games that really took advantage of the fact that you do have a tablet in front of you and you can do things with it. What an interesting bit of potential, but somehow, like, I don't think too many games, other than, like, Splatoon, took advantage of the two, uh, two screens aesthetic. The Switch doesn't even have any possibility for allowing that, which is kind of a drag. Because, like, doing Mario Maker 2 on stream seems like it's a lot less pleasant. Because you'd have to do it using, uh, the joysticks rather than being able to use the, uh, the stylus. Oh, he kills those things for me. Cool. Nuts. Okay, don't worry about killing the ice cream cones. He'll kill the ice cream cones. Just stay up in the air where he can't hurt you. Because the ice cream cones are the only part that are dangerous unless I get hit by, like, the weird hitbox. Let's see, what else have I been up to? I was going to stream yesterday, but I spent two hours being frustrated by various things, so I didn't. Kind of ready for it, went and uh, did the dishes and everything, and then didn't because I was going to play some Gabriel Knight, and what I read on the internet was that Day 5 has a chance for a lockup, so I wanted to set up a backup installation. So I went and made a backup installation using the installer that apparently is really good and fixes these problems, but that installer uses a different version of the engine. That's apparently a problem because the save files aren't uh, compatible. Yeah. I got... Oh, it, it's this boss. Oh, with the unhappy face on the way down. That's awesome. Um, and the reason for that is actually because Sierra's engines use uh, just dumps of the heap as their save games. So it kind of makes sense that different versions be incompatible. So I set up a Windows 3.1 install. Well, first I tried installing a DOS version in DOSBox, and that didn't work because of... Well, it's a different version again. So eventually I got Windows 3.1 in DOSBox, but I needed to get it so that it could go down to the appropriate resolution, which requires installing drivers for Windows 98. So eventually I found the appropriate drivers for Windows 98, Windows 98, 3, Windows 3.1. Um, and then I finally realized, oh, the version I was installing from was an ISO, not the binq I burned on that CD. So I finally went and rescued that off of a different machine to realize it was a completely different release. Apparently there was a 1996 release and a 1993 release, and I had the 93 release in one place and the 96 release in the other. So I finally got that installed with Windows 3.1, and it actually works. But it took a long time, and by the time I did, I got it all sorted. I was just unhappy with things, so I didn't, <laughs> didn't do no streaming. It's a thing that happens. I'm gonna take this with me. Well done, Apple boy. Oh, there's wind! I thought the popsicles were sticky. But no, it's the Mario Maker wind! Everyone's favorite mechanic from Mario Maker! Two.
You know, I'm not sure there's a whole lot I could have done about that while holding that item. Learn the hard way that wind is terrible. Yep. Like, I don't... Oh, actually, I guess it's okay. The, the wind level in DKC2 is okay. I think that's about as far as I go in terms of windy level design could can be good but it, for the most part it's just it's just a pain and no one likes it and in dkc2 it's mostly used to let you jump farther which is actually fun put win in a commercial game and it was terrible what game i'm curious because I'm going to guess it's not the one that, that comes to mind when you say commercial game you worked on. Dang it. I don't expect you to put that in Twitch chat. I'd be curious if you just message me that. It surely is. Seriously? It's that game. The I can't believe it's, it's not Tetris. There's wind. Oh, I can see how that could work. Huh. That, yeah, that would be even worse. Yeah, I agree. That that was a bad idea. <laughs> I was all excited. If the wind didn't change direction, yeah. If it was consistent, I could see that. I love winter levels. I like the popsicles, I'm not gonna lie. Be changing the rules about distance. Yeah. Wanted to squish that critter. Alright. New plan. Get down there, pick it up, throw it off the cliff. Okay, new plan. Do that. Problem served. Always felt like parts of this would be an appropriate football fight song. Right, popsicles are solid, because they're made of popsicle. Whereas trees are not, because they're not made of popsicle. It all makes sense now. Let's go to the secret area. I thought that wasn't going to be ground, and I was dead. Because <laughs> it looks very much like the floor. Well, it looks like the background, really. Man, Mario 64 is such a good game. Oh, wait, there's nothing down here. Except popsicles. Those are really long popsicles. I don't want a rocket pop now. <laughs> Ain't had one of those in years. Let's see what else. Probably should schedule with Faro for the next Everhood thing. Everhood is a weird but enjoyable game. I still haven't decided to kill everybody yet. Which I probably have to do. But I was kind of delaying my decision until I had a chance to see some more critters. And God, uh, and Battle for Olympus. Turns out there was a very important uh, distinction between retry and continue that I was unaware of. Um, turns out if you do retry instead of continue, it lets you keep all your olives, but you go back to the last temple you were at. And between going... Um, if you go into Crete, it's actually pretty reasonable to start at the temple instead. Like, it's the difference between, like, two screens. So it's kind of like a whoop de doo situation. And keeping your olives is highly valuable because you need those olives to bribe gods, because apparently they need olives. Mm. 
red, white, and delicious. <laughs> the only reason you're an American, apparently. Oh, they are so good. What I always wanted if I could get actually go to a uh, like an ice cream truck. Of course, now I can buy them. You know, just go to the store and buy them, so the novelty is worn off a little bit. But maybe I will. Maybe next time I see them in, in a store, I might buy some. And not the cheap dollar ones, like the actual good ones. Despite what I believed as a kid, I'm fairly certain that um, they all the, the stripes are supposed to taste the same. Oh, mandatory fire flower paint level. This is actually useful in case I need to go and do some uh, power up farming, which I hope I don't. I hate power up farming. As a general rule, I try to beat levels with what what I got, what the level gives me. Exceptions have been made in the past, but not very many. Cool, let's see if this is a soft lock. Sixteen kills, double the highest on the team, two-thirds kill participation, constant cross-map jinx snipes, 34% of team damage, no honor. Nope. No honors. You're playing League. There's no honor in League. But yes, that is unfortunate. Oh, so those... I wanted to check the slope, dang ice cream cone. Ranked MMR is gold 2-ish. Currently a silver 1. Alright, you'll probably make it before the end of the season. That's like six months from now. thought I caught on the slope, but I might- maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did there. Okay. Yeah. So this slope is weird. Put marker down. Gold within 10 ranked games. I believe you can do that within the next month or two. Or six. And yeah, that one's exhibiting it too. I imagine that there's a lack of slope assist tiles in general in the level. Only I had the power. Oh, that, that was a that was a spike, huh? If only I had the power of fire flower. Whoa, a slippery cave. Boink, boink. My brain just does not see those as spikes. That's my excuse. It's a completely dumb excuse. You know, no Johns, etc. But... I guess I should also note that this level has a weird spawn thing going on. That you scroll up a bit at the midway. It's not a bad thing, but it is a thing. Understand that. Okay, so basically, if you spawn at the midway, you can't complete the level. Well, I guess we could see if ice cream cone heads work. Destroy the blocks. But, like, there's no way for you to get to complete. Oh, nuts. Well, it'll come back. It didn't come back. But basically, you can't complete this level without going to a different level and getting a power-up and coming back. Like, that's not terrible. But it's a red ice cream cone, so it'll just, you know, stay here. Mistakes were made! Okay, it does not affect it, and it doesn't break it. Got it. Alright. So... There's no power-ups on this side of the field. And the one power-up in this level is behind a, a 
the wall. If there was no other power-ups, I'm pretty sure, and you need a full apple to be able to do this. Yeah, okay, this level is bizarrely uncompletable. Putting a marker of that. <laughs> That's really strange. So I gotta go find me something. Not really happy with this. Also because this level has a gigantic string of this thing and stuff, and I don't remember where it was in the middle of all these. Apparently it wasn't there. Huh, those give you a lot more bounce than I was expecting. Any of these? Okay, it's that one right there. Yeah, Unwinnable from Bolson from ZP definitely makes me a little unhappy. Well, Mario Maker, you have to kind of prove it's winnable, but you know, people cheat. Good old dev do doors, dev shrooms, dev everything. Day of the devs. There we go. That full apple. Full apple, in fact. In fact, if you get hit at all, you're hosed. Anyway, now we're going to be incredibly careful, hopefully. Optimistically. Nope, this is a pit. Well, at least I can get the do now. Or the green Pepsi, whatever it is. Like, it's not a soft lock because you can get around it, but it is definitely a bit sour to me. What is this madness? Upside down popsicles? Panic Restaurant has many food themed enemies. This guy again, Caden. Ah! Oh, Caden is the guy whose head is at somewhere. What do you want from me? Listen, man, just come back and we can finish Maga 3. Maga 3. What does that even mean? Nah, uh, this place just lost its color privileges. Except Luigi. Come back when you're ready to finish the hack. Friggin' nutcase. Oh. I don't know if I want grayscale popsicles. Thank you for the ZZ. Um, it has sexy ice cream. Is that the one where you're a chef and you're like hitting things with the... with your pans and stuff? That vaguely recall that one for NES. I'm not sure how much sexy ice cream is an endorsement that I want that uh, actually works for me, I'll be honest. Japanese version is a worst main character. Oh, hey look! It's free! Sexy ice cream. How would the ice cream be sexy? You know, actually, I don't want that. I don't want to answer that question. I think about it. Lots of one popsicle jumps. That was reasonable. Stupid kid instead of a charming chef. Definitely a good localization choice, yeah. 29! I'll take it. And won't complain about it, vociferously. 
Your case in this in this level, I suppose, is coniferously yet to. It's like uh, how totally rad got a ridiculously awesome uh, localization. His nose is in the door, but he isn't. Can't jump off that wall, but I can jump off this wall. Also, this is the last friggin' ice level. I am looking forward to that. Oh look, Bumpties. Always Bumpties. Every ice level has to have Bumpties. Alright, midway, that was easy. ZG. I should actually claim this hack since I'm at least halfway through it now. I spaced on it. I never actually claim hacks until I start playing them. It's only bit me once, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. I think pretty much all the other moderators are generally asleep when I'm doing this. Okay, I guess that works. Hooray, donuts. Hey. the amount of bumpties you'd think this is a WLDC level? Exactly. To beat Wintry Woods, let the apples roll towards him. That will make him take damage. Okay. I see and understand now. Doesn't the tree part do something? I'm wondering if this is a boss that exists on SMW Central if Apple Boy suddenly learned some ASM. Uh, what is going on with that tile down there? Like, what is up with this mystery tile that's just sort of here? Also, I don't know why this level has multiple bits. It's empty. Very strange. Multiverse Meadow. Killer plants and guys in masks. Oh, I know what this is. Gonna be some shy guys. Or... Hot... Apple! Interesting. I've never had an apple and only 2 HP. Oh. Well, at least I killed that. Oh, look at how happy those clouds are. Look at how smush these shy guys are. Hey, hey, hey. What's a red coin doing in this level? Oh, it's a red can. Much better. What's up, Luigi? No, he wasn't in the ice world. That is a bit surprising when you think about it. Especially given that the Ice Cream Man was the boss of the prior world in his castle, which wasn't an ice-themed castle, but an ocean-themed castle, technically, I guess. Very strange. But you know what? The Ice Cream Man can do what he wants. Is he made of ice cream? Um, I'm going to be frank. You guys have seen most of the plot of this hack so far. Like, it, I believe the intro thing was something along the lines of Apple Boy has set out to defeat the evil Ice Cream Man. Um, and that stuff with Caden, who is a streamer that I know of, but I've never actually watched, because Donut made a troll hack for him that I played, like, last month. And it was actually pretty cool, because Donut's good at ASM and stuff. Uh, though one of the levels did eventually make me kind of nauseous. But... Apple Boy is not an apple, no, but he appears to be powered by apples, which might be important. Can't do that. 
So between those two things, you guys have seen all of the... Between that and the plot we just saw a couple levels ago, you guys are basically as filled in as I am. I got confused for a second there. I hate when that happens. What has Ice Cream Man done wrong? That was never clarified. He simply stated as evil. I'm hoping that further levels will uh, let us know what the actual plot is. Um, actually, here it is. The villainous Ice Cream Man is seeking vengeance upon Apple Boy after being defeated by him, so Apple Boy goes off to Ice Cream Man's cloudy castle to beat him up again. Is the full description of the hack. So now you know. At least something. Just keep panicking every time I land somewhere. What's up, Bunny Link? How you doing? If Ice Cream Man wants vengeance, shouldn't it be coming to Apple Boy's castle? You'd think that. You would think that. Is how that sentence ends. If you're really interested in the plot of this game, I recommend you ask Apple Boy. You can find him on SMW Central's Discord server. I'm certain he'll answer all of your questions related to the plot of this game, Fiskman. You're good? Excellent. Ah, I keep doing dumb things. Having a cold and staying at home. Nice. Have a nice chill day. Okay, so the advantage of going through the pipe was that I could get shot out of a cannon. A fairly minimal advantage. Well, hope you uh, get over your cold quick. Colds are not fun. Unless it's the rock and pneumonia. Which I guess is kind of fun, but it's still pneumonia, so it's not that much fun. Oh, it's from a, a silly song. That's part of the refrain. It's got the rock and pneumonia and the boogie woogie blues. I do not believe it's an actual ailment. This level's friggin' weird. Like, I didn't expect that pipe to actually take me anywhere. Alright, those things hurt. Yeah, they added those tags recently, Fisk, but adding, uh, watching without audio, watching without video. Don't know how many years since you played this game, but it was your first video game. <laughs> It's a good game. I don't think you played this specific one. But how you doing, uh, Batham? So I can go up this pipe. I have to go up this pipe. Okay, so you can get the one up, but it may, be, may not be worth it. expect them to take off. I didn't think Waddle Dee's had it in them. They got Waddle in the name, not Fly. What the hell is this? Was that a th one? And why was the Kirby boss... You know, I don't think I was supposed to go that way. Before the Kirby world. I'm actually a little bit confused about that. In the grand scheme of things, though, it's probably fine.
Right, those things have a hitbox. I should've just gone for it. Some W is your first game ever? Oh, damn. My first game was, was much less exciting. My first game was Ernie's Big Splash, a game for IBM-compatible PCs where you put various pieces down to help the rubber ducky get to Ernie. For what it is, it's pretty decent, but I don't think it holds most people's in interest for very long if you're not already, like, three years old. I just need to be careful there. Six years old and your parents got the SNES. Oh, nice. Nice. It is a good console. A good first console, too. Had a lot of really good games of various types. You have no memory of the first game you played or even owned. Damn. Might be Sesame Street ABC123. The NES game with the uh, with the talking. Mom played back then when you were in school and she beat the first castle. You're so sad or mad. I still use your first family-owned game you played. Pretty sure you played it at Cousins NES or something beforehand. Oh, nice. Wait. Cousins NES. You mean SNES. You probably didn't play the Hummer version, probably. That's the Big Bird one? Okay. It's kind of easy to get several of those uh, Sesame Street games mixed up. Being that what they are. Okay, what we learned here is don't go down there, despite the fact that it mildly looks like what you're supposed to do. Oh, look, thumb thumbs. Oh, sorry, I thought you said you played the, the Super Mario World on the NES. I misread that. Gotcha. That makes more sense. Super Mario World, remember playing on your room at night with your sister reading a book or whatever on top of it? Oh, fun. And me and my siblings used to play some games together, but mostly like the Sierra King's Quest type games. King's Quest... Four and Space Quest Three, we played a lot of. We weren't very good at them, but we played them anyway. I guess actually we got kind of close to beating uh, Space Quest Three. Now that I think about it, because one of the final areas is the uh, game programming dungeon, and we actually got there a number of times. But I don't think we got very far after that because, like, one of the deaths you could get in Space Quest at that point was to be encased in Jello, and we thought that was fucking hilarious. You have to impersonate a janitor so that uh, you don't get kicked out of the game programming company. The good news, of course, is you are in fact a janitor, so it's not that hard to impersonate the janitor. But if you do a bad job, you get encased in Jello. So. Uh. SMW straight into Final Fantasy IV JRPG pipeline. Ah, oh, that's a dangerous pipeline. SMB with a, one with an uncle who showed you your first horror movie, Basket Case. Oh, Basket Case is such a weird movie. And uh, Beale's film, film, Hard Day's Night. Blockbuster be damned, indeed. I've, I've only seen, like, clips of Basket Case, where you see the actual Basket Case. That movie is ridiculous. At least that one part I've seen is ridiculous. I've never actually watched Hard Day's Night. Probably should. Big fan of Yellow Submarine. I've seen that movie a number of times. I think we're going to some sort of Sonic-themed universe. You've never heard of this film? There we go. You know, I'm gonna be honest, all I know about it is the little clip where, like, the woman opens the basket and then the titular character... That's a bad can of soda. Uh, jumps out at him. 
I'm not much for horror movies, but that's the kind of Narmi horror movie I would watch if I was going to watch a horror movie. I think my favorite horror movie I ever saw might have been this one where, like, this kid defeats the devil by launching a rocket at his face. Because his elder brother brought his dog back to life by playing a heavy metal album backwards. It was really stupid. But the fun kind of stupid. Alright, so you can't defeat the evil soda can. Haven't seen Basket Case, but you've seen parts of Brain Damage by the same reactor, uh, dear, uh, director. There's such a strange little subgenre of, like, low-budget horror movies from the 80s just because, like, people could make those at the time for so basically nothing. And with VHS, distribution was no longer much of a problem at all. Like, it was really a good time to be an independent filmmaker. As bizarre as it sounds. Screw you, Evil Cola. I only drink good-aligned cola. Like, Pepsi here. I guess. I don't even like Pepsi. The only Pepsi I've ever enjoyed was Pepsi Blue, which wasn't real Pepsi, I don't think. But if you mixed it with Code Red, it did in fact taste purple. Oh, those hurt you. So there was that. You can't kick ice cream at the evil Pepsi. I don't like the evil Pepsi. That was Spook Month. I remember your first horror game that spooked you. It was called Disney The Haunted Mansion on PS2. Huh. Never finished that game? Interesting. Disney the Haunted Mansion? I gotta look that up. Oh, man. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't want to print. Yeah, I've been wanting to do some more, like, horror-themed things, but I want to finish Gabriel Knight first. Which is a horror-themed game, just we haven't gotten to the horror part. It's mostly been people talking about voodoo. And Gabriel Knight impersonating a, uh, a priest. And being a general dick. Guy dies in front of you. Maybe I should call someone. Nah, I'm just gonna go home. Wait, there was a power-up before this. I just missed it. Goodbye, Evil Cola. Not sure what my plan was there, because it certainly didn't involve <laughs> properly shell jumping. Kind of rubbish at shell jumping if it requires uh, a cape. You know, I don't know why I thought the safety triangle part would not hurt me, but it did. Came out in 2003. Huh. Got Hungry Gurria to play Eternal Darkness. You are pleased. Which one's Eternal Darkness? I think I know the game. Is that the one with the, the kid with the lightning gun? No, that is not the game I'm thinking of. GameCube horror with a sanity mechanic. Okay. okay. One of these has a good aligned cola in it. Which I want. Nope! I keep wanting the red cola because I like Code Red. Like, Code Red Mountain Dew is one of the best kind of, of sodas. But no, in this game it's just pure evil. Just let him walk off. Yeah, that that's how you handle that. Wall jump mechanics. Now you know. You get a lot of things. What are the Goombas? Jawbreakers? You know, I haven't put too much thought into it, but I would say... Honestly, they look... I guess... I guess... Jawbreakers? I could see it. Maybe Raisinets? Honestly, the more I look at it, the more I think it might look like a basketball with eyeballs. And legs. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I'm also surprised this level is still going. Ooh, 
what up. What is the deal with the evil cola? It's not even threatening here, it just goes. A basketball with green sunglasses? Yeah, like something straight out of Space Jam. There we go. It's very strange. I'm not sure what to think about it, to be fair. But it works. It's an enemy. Mmm. Sweet and spooky ghost house. Delicious. Looks like a pretty conventional ghost house so far. Oh. The evil of bubblegum. Those are jawbreakers. 100% jawbreakers. Look at those critters. Yeah, the, the booze have to be, like, I guess the booze and other things are like, except these guys, I don't want to eat these. These are quite obviously bad jawbreakers. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay. What's up, Luigi? Okay, completely vertical level go. I don't think I like boo rings combined with wall jumps. I guess that one wasn't so bad. That's a brick breaker. Oh, you. I was, I was, yeah, no. <laughs> Should have waited. For multiple reasons. That was not good timing with the fishing boo either. Dozen 3 is an action adventure survival horror. You never get to finish because the screaming ghost lady is <laughs> so bad. Check it out if I dare. I will consider that. I will consider that. Think of horror movies, Blue's Plus Halloween, and ignore all the other three. And ignore all the others. It's grand and unrelated to the rest. I feel like that happens a lot with horror movies. Um, I do think it'd be kind of cool to play that, but I don't have the tech for PS2 games, unfortunately. Like, I try to play on original consoles if possible, though I will admit that my stuff is a little bit uh, occasionally, um, you know, uh, bought... Uh, Acquired might be the right way to phrase it. But I would be curious. I don't want a PS2 horror game. Um, it's one of like three PS2 games I own. And it's Gregory Horror Show, and it is truly amazing. But for some reason it was never brought to America. Um, and then one day I accidentally bought like a French PS2. And since I didn't realize it was a French PS2 until long after I could return it. I bought the one European game I could possibly want to have, and that was Gregory Horror Show. This is a really cool game. See, what is the Halloween series about, now that I think about it? It's like, most of the horror movies, you, like, know what the main character is. Like, Chucky, you know what you're getting with Chucky. Or, uh, Leprechaun, you know it's gonna be a Leprechaun. Or a Nightmare on Elm Street, you know you're going to see Freddy at some point hamming it up. I don't like falling without a slight of camera adjustment. You don't get much space to see what you're doing, but at least with a cape, you will get enough time to see what you're doing. Is Halloween Mike Myers? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Or is that Friday the 13th? I did not go this far up. This is a long drop. No! I wasn't prepared for a booing. Halloween ends on Friday. It's the final Halloween movie. Horror series actually intentionally end? Like, that's something I just don't expect. I'm pretty sure, like, we'll be hearing about, you know, Jason in space or something. Like, horror series never end, as far as I know. They'll just melt them until they... until literally no one cares anymore. For example, Final Destination was only the first movie. There were several more after that one. Halloween is Myers. Friday the 13th is Jason. Okay, thank you.
Like I said, it's hard for me to keep these straight. I don't watch that many horror movies, but I do enjoy reading the summaries sometimes. Um, I think the last one I actually watched, and it's, it, again, I don't watch many, was probably um, Hellraiser. That's a movie with some stuff going on. And an absurd number of sequels that most people don't watch. But Pinhead is cool. Oh, I forgot about the second pair! Mike Myers on an endless quest to murder all the family members after killing his sister as a teenager and going to a psych ward. Please die, yes, thank you, Mike. Not really, because Halloween has a timeline. Okay. Dang spooky ghost house. I'm actually curious how many exits I'm up to now, but I don't want to ah, get out of the game to find out. I've made this more difficult. Much more difficult. I hate boo rings. They just are so slow and annoying. And to make it even worse is when people test in Lunar Magic, they always spawn exactly the same way, and they, they don't do that when you're actually playing on hardware. They keep their uh, rotation uh, from the last time you saw one of, one of the two rings. Both rings have separate rotations. There we go. Oh. I was briefly confused. I was like, feed? What? What? Nope, just ads. You want to buy your own ad? They're very cheap, like 200 points. Buy an ad. Advertise something. I don't know. It's up to you. It's nice to see Sadbot is working. Oh no, Speedy Catbot is presently working fine. Never mind. I didn't test to see if Sadbot was up and running. I have some suspicions. But I keep losing internet around 6 a.m. because my video uploader has been failing for like two days straight. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be very curious to see if it does it again tomorrow. And so it's possible Sadbot is not functioning properly. Tails is overdone. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I'm pretty sure the boo ring is. Yeah, it's coming up. There we go. Glad I didn't follow the line. Much easier to avoid the boo ring if you don't follow the line. Or maybe Apple Boy didn't expect anyone to just hold down the whole time. Hold B the whole time. Ugh. That was a level. Yeah, there we go. Sad bot is happy. Wait, is that pipe space? Ooh. Oh, plot! Well, well. Oh, brother. Listen, man, all I want is for you to bring back the colors of pipe space. Okay. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. See you. See you. See, sometimes just asking politely solves an awful lot of problems. Or maybe Caden didn't actually do it. That's green again. Spin jumps. Gotta remember spin jumps. Oh god, I have to sit through this again. Um, yeah, uh, 
Magician Max suggested trying to find an ad for Halloween game, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> the colors one at a time. <laughs> you only get 16 of them. You better enjoy this one. Okay, spin jump. Apple Boy T poses for dominance. Hooray! Got my Pepsi. Holy cow, you just give me two power ups in the, the course of like a minute. I'm not sure why, but I did it. What's up here? Really? I'm gonna guess there'd be like a, uh, a one up there or something. I could have used it on that one. Hmm, I'm feeling male malevolent right now. <laughs> Got a point. Wait, what? Wait, where did it go? Why did it? <laughs> it fell through. Got a point. Why aren't I playing horror games? You... Yeah, that's a valid point. Um. Well, I was planning on playing Gabriel Knight yesterday, but I ran into a massive amount of problems. So, according to the Sierra website, Gabriel Knight 1 will crash on day 5 if certain things happen. So, I, um, I needed to have a backup install somewhere where it wouldn't, and the backup installer I tried to use installed a newer version of the engine, which made my save files obsolete. And so I had to create a DOS box instance, so I tried to install the DOS version, and that also didn't like my save files. And so then I installed Windows 3.1, but I had to argue with the display drivers. Um, and for some reason, the like pre-set up version I had constantly was trying to dial out and actually did jump scare me with the dial-up noises, which was kind of funny. Um, so I eventually got that fixed, got the version the version I thought was correct installed. Turns out that was the wrong version. I had to install a different version uh, from the old bin and queue that I had and, and burned the CD off of, which is different than the ISO I have somewhere else. Um, because the ISO version came out in 96, and the Bin Q one came out in 93, and has a hilarious installer by way of comparison. So that's why I'm not playing Gabriel Knight, because I got annoyed at it. <laughs> but soon. Very soon. But I saw this in the queue today, and was like, eh, I should do some moderation. I haven't done that in like a week or two. And I like Apple Boy stuff in general, so there you go. Sometimes when I commitment to streaming. Uh... It's more of a, a form of stubbornness, I'll be honest. An absolute form of stubbornness. But yes. Gabriel Knight, and then I've got like one or two others that I that could be fun that I'll maybe I'll do a poll in Discord. I gotta actually pay attention for this. I'm bad at timed platforms. Thank goodness Pepsi cans don't run on their own most of the time. Halloween time was confusing, but the best one is Halloween. Halloween! Halloween kills. Halloween ends. Oh, the best order. Okay. Huh. Oh, um, Taskbot just notices the last ones that it sees. It doesn't actually know about ad mode. It just knows when it's told that there's a new ad. It's not very smart. You know what? No. <laughs> Why would I go through the middle part when I can go on the side? But yeah, it'll just echo whatever the last thing it, it, it saw was. Whoa, it's Master Hand. Attack him by getting near him and pressing the X button. And get his percentage down to zero. Okay. And the X button? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, X button works. Um... I guess X is air neutral or something. Or neutral, just neutral. In fact, if you try it next stream, what you would notice is that it um, it would tell you what the last banner was from the prior stream. <laughs> Assuming it hasn't crashed since then. X is jump in the actual SMB though? Oh, oh god, Smash. I don't remember in, in, Sma in OG Smash. Or in Melee. I... You know, I was always an up-to-jump person in Smash, which probably puts me on, like, pleb level, because I'm pretty sure, like, all the, the cool pros put it on... Yeah, I think it's on X, actually. Yeah, I think it's on X. But X is that weird, like, button that's off the center of the giant pad. 
X, Y, or jump. A is attack, B is special, yep. Hand drill. You know, I don't know why, but I thought Sweet Dude made this boss. Oh, lasers. Nuts, lasers. Because the only other hack that I know of that has a master hand fight in it is things, but that, or things that SMC, I suppose. Um, but that is not necessarily indica indicative. Of course, things that SMC has everything in it. Like you point to uh, an, any ASM, it's probably in that hack. The fact that they all cooperate is a small miracle. I'm not sure what the criteria for swapping is. I'm okay just doing this. Did it actually play? Oh god, I got lucky there. Oh, okay, that's not too bad of a hit. Plugging it three, maybe four in. Nope, okay, I screwed that up. Pokey. I'm getting easier attacks to dodge this time, I think. I guess the fist is also a fairly easy attack to dodge. Oh, right, that just just touches you. It doesn't actually hurt you. By hand. Did that play? I'm actually kind of confused. Whatever, I'll play it again, just for the hell of it. Or try to. It's completely silent. Alright, let's see if something's broken. One sec. I think the Raspberry Pi went down again. Pi.lam Stream dash R Crash it. Start it back up. God, I hate Java. Come on. Claustrophobia. What is claustrophobia the game? Apparently, it's a game on there. Spill there's a scary, dark horror experience filled with blood, boiling moments. The game can have different endings depending on how you play. All right, that should work. There you go. We'll, we'll press the Desu button again and see if it actually works. That kind of worked. Guys will hack, but sure. I, think I've, I don't know if I've seen that one. There was a spooky hack that uh, came across the plate, but I missed my chance to moderate it last week. No. I did not want to get hit by the cloud people. I will... Hey. Thank you. I didn't expect the cloud to be so friendly. Well, there goes my fire flower. It's nice while it lasted. Oh, here's my fire flower back. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice now. So much better than action fight that. Oh, now I lose all my powers. So sad whenever I see a midway. Rob Zombie remakes of Halloween sucked hard. Should try bathroom suggestions. Probably a good idea. Seems like he knows what he's talking about. Ends up, uh, Faro, how you doing? 
I saw that uh, Blueberry finally grabbed uh, Minta's winter level. So hopefully that'll get done sooner than later. Do these have any effect now that I actually get near them? I'm actually a bit confused about the cloud critters. I don't think they work. Or is the goal of the cloud critters just to, like, confound you and think, Oh no, I can't go that way, there's... Wind. Oh, that's not a platform. Notice by watching your favorite horror movie YouTuber tells the horse history of horror characters of things you missed in films on your favorite is the history of Final Destination. Interesting. Blue used to be a 64 moderator. Yeah, he did. Uh, once they got out of the 64 business, he decided to move over to, to being a standard moderator. And he's been doing some of those recently. That's all I know about him, too, to be fair. Seems like an okay guy. I just don't know anything about him. It's not a bad thing, though. Like, standard, like, isn't in a bad place, but it's certainly not a bad thing to have additional standard moderators right now. Dang it. I'm never gonna get that 50. Um, but if the queue, if we don't get some of the bigger things out of the queue before, I guess C3 is in about, what, three months? It's probably not that. Well, it's probably not gonna come to that. So. A whole bunch of really long stuff. I'm not sure I want to do Isakura World. Oh, hey, look, it's the long ones! It's like a question block, but bigger! Oh, is this indicating, like, apples are good, but Pepsi is better, and snow cones are the best? That makes sense, I guess. That's probably ice cream cones, now that I think about the general theme of the game. That is an odd design choice, but okay. Jump! Into a pit. That's how that sentence ends. Oh, hey, look, there's the evil coke. Not even a pit! Why is this here? The only reason this is here is to make it take longer to die. reminds me I need a better transliteration thing than the Java service. Oh, look, balloons! Okay, vertical level. Let's trust the balloon. And he sold his soul to an alien for a green balloon. That doesn't even make sense. I think I wall jumped a few seconds ago. I did, actually. There is wall jumping in this hack. How you doing, Hera? Ow. This hack is all about wall jumping. And ice cream. Return of the Coca-Cola's. Oh, it's Coke that's bad. Oh, this makes so much more sense. Sometimes I just don't notice what's in front of me. It's Pepsi versus Coke. We've just begun the Cola Wars over again. Ah, uh, this is so slow. Someone tried to steal bank money from your bank account? Everything you need to do, but uh, oh man, that sucks. Oh, pfft. I wasn't holding Y. No! Man, I ran through a lot of lives in this game. I think I just saved like three levels ago, so it's not a big deal, but still. Would like to know how many lives I have. I don't know why Appleboy took that part away. You said tried, so I hope you wasn't successful. Um... I think it was like a pin, pin jacking thing where someone like steals your credit card number and pin. That sort of uh, thing or something more sophisticated. Yeah, that's I've already put a marker down for the awkward game over message. My suspicion is he used one of those graphics for something else. 
and therefore it's doing something funny, but that's that's my best guess. Um, the graphics file that has the text in it is also used for some bits of Mario. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, the nose on Apple Boy is, is in that message or something like that. Yeah! Apples! Did it over PayPal? Oh! I didn't... Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, again, like I said, I hope they only tried and didn't succeed. Definitely want to enable, like, two-factor on your PayPal and stuff. Change passwords. I guess one case where it's even better. For example, final destination the hearing of William Bloodsworth, of how he knows knowledge of death and theory he believes is the first person to beat death. Huh. Yeah, I recall those games... Ah, uh, those games. The, the Final Destination movies were generally independent of each other or something. Except the second one? Again, I'm not a big horror person. I, I don't really enjoy that kind of thing. Every once in a while. I prefer silly horror. I like Mike Myers. Or, or not Mike Myers. I, God. Freddy. Give me Freddy any day. It's usually a sillier movie. Munchers can't eat my balloons, so it's okay, I can do this. I like the background, it's pleasant. I've seen it in a number of places, like Super Mala World. That's another good standard hack, actually. Super Mala World. A bunch of people got together and made it for a glitch cat. It's a standard hack that uses Malo, the cat, his cat, as the sprite. And it's mostly good levels. There's a couple levels I could I could leave live without, but that's mostly mostly minecart stuff. On the Lakitu boss, or the Fish and Boo boss is kind of awkward, but eh. Other than that, it's a pretty good... For collab hack, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good collab hack. Collab hack usually means, to some extent, there is going to be some unevenness, but... And I will read more once I can get to be done with the really slow falling section. I've learned I can't pay attention to chat and falling and avoiding lunchers, sadly. Cool. The payment out of Asia. Something for like $148 that was coming out of your bank account that's linked to, and the weird thing is you only got two and a half dollars in your bank account, so you don't know where they're getting that money. <laughs> uh, well, the thing about money is like it takes a while for the various places to all settle up, and so sometimes you can temporarily buy things with money that doesn't exist. It wouldn't surprise me if they, like, stole a PayPal token or something that they tried to charge against. I don't- I've never integrated with PayPal, but I know you can steal Stripe tokens and do similar types of things. Oh, I can save after every level, I just realized. Stay Alive, heard about that one. It's the dumbest horror film you've ever seen. I mean, like, there could be one guy in a lab making levels so vastly different and much longer than the rest of the people. Uh, like a certain gentleman whose name starts with an H and ends with D. I wasn't thinking of anyone in particular, I'll be honest. Um, and if I was going to uh, impugn anyone's honor about collab hacks, it would probably be Yulpin Gamers. Because <laughs> um, his levels tend to be ag aggressively long and often irritatingly gimmicky. But he has made some really cool stuff, so I'm not like, going to hold it against him. Like I really liked his ROM hack races level last year for Halloween. That was a lot of fun. But if, if you have sins to confess about collab hacks, you're welcome to confess them here. <laughs> I don't think, like, I don't think Mala World actually told you who made which level, so I wouldn't know. Yum. Yum. Whoosh! <laughs> Those blocks are fun. Oh, there wasn't much level after that midway. 
stay alive? I'm curious. For a group of teens, the answer to a mysterious death of their old friend lies within the world of an online video game. Based upon a true story. That is odd. Even weirder thing is there was also something in an email from Track Train. You now apparently own the leasing rights to the track We Can Do It by the person who supposedly got into your PayPal or something. The even weirder thing is the song's icon is the DJ Music Man from FNAF Security Breach. Huh. Your levels are generally the ones in Super Booey Booey World where people are being divided. Oh god. Um. Huh. Well, I understand that there is, a, like, a weird... Let me read this first, then, I, then I'll try and think here. Holy crap, a boulder. Run, Apple Boy, run! You can't let anything get in your way, otherwise the boulder will squish you. Well, I don't want to get squished by a boulder. I do kind of wish they'd gotten that apple, though. So, the problem with this boulder ASM and the run ASM is I can just hug that wall if I have, like, one hit and then avoid it. Um, so there's a thing that people do on Spotify to sort of launder money where they make, like, really crappy songs, um, and then they get the Spotify, like, play money out of it. It's, it's a very strange thing. I read about it on Hacker News a while ago, uh, and I'm kind of wondering if it's involved in that sort of thing where they were taking your money and doing that with it. Something like that. Uh, the boulder is not instant death. Um, who's stuck? Wait, I, yeah, I was just thinking, last time I saw this boulder ASM, I'm pretty sure it was another Apple Boy hack. And it definitely is not uh, instant death. Swear your family tracks some strange people, pass it on to you. Oh, I know it. Just in case you know you wanted to go right. Now you know you know you want to go right. Um, did you make, like, the, that one level of Booey Booey World? That, yeah, I think there was one in the Booey Booey World that everyone spends a long time in with, like, the bubbly aesthetics. Oh, there's cool aesthetics, too. Um, I think I remember people complaining about that, but it looked cool. I never beat the first level of Booey Booey World. <laughs> so I have, I have no beef. I v actually, I vaguely remember when that was. I think it was, like, June 2000... 20. I'm not mistaken. I think I tried playing that the day right before my sabbatical ended. Snake block and the cloud one. Most people talking about the cloud one. Okay, the cloud one is the one I was expecting. Well, that was a level. There was basically no level there. That was really short. 2018, yeah. Well, the reason I started playing it was because they were going to do another, like, race challenge on Rumhack Races, where if you got a, below a certain a time in it, you could uh, be invited to race it. And I thought maybe I could try this, and I know the answer was no, I couldn't. <laughs> um, I missed the Akogare one. I didn't manage to complete Akogare any percent. And so I kind of thought I'd be able to get on this one. Nope. Not good enough for that either. But I'm fine with that. Definitely need to put work in if I want to get better at that sort of thing. And I'm just not playing enough Kaizo nowadays either to really justify it. Step one would probably be finish Akogare World. And by that I mean go back and start over at the beginning of Akogare World. Because it's been a long time. Want to test the level? Uh, like a... Far, fairly complete far. Yeah, sure. Lay it on me. Um, I'm actually not really sure how far I am because I didn't put the overlay up correctly. So let me see. Exit's 32. No, oh, I'm almost done. This should be that should be the 33rd exit. I will admit this um this world seemed to be phoned in a little bit in terms of length, but I'm okay with that. Ice cream. I like it. I'm gonna stay alive as a ripoff of Nightmare on Elm Street in a different way. How is people sleeping but horror video game and it goes like, if you die in the game, you die in real life? Yes, I remember that. That was a silly gimmicky thing. If you 
die in the game. You die in real life. Definitely remember repeating that at a non-trivial number of times. Making fun of that movie. Assuming that movie. Jeez. Oh, it's the Mario 3 thing. Except it fires Peppermint. You know, Bully, why don't you try being over here and off the cliff? Enjoy the orange... Uh, the orange, the grape... <laughs> the green jello. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why am I doing it this way? I could just spin jump. Actually, the argument for doing it this way would be in case I need to not be spin jumping when I land. Doesn't matter. Oh god! Believe you or not, you have it on DVD. Oh my. What's up, Nora? How you doing? I totally believe you own that on DVD. There's a non-trivial number of bad movies that it's possible to own on DVD. For instance, I own a copy of Biodome. Why? I still wonder that myself sometimes. In fact, I don't recall buying it now that I think about it. It's a terrible movie. The best but weird movie I own on DVD is actually Lagan, which is a Bollywood movie about taxes in colonial uh, India that ends in a cricket match. For a short period after watching this movie, you will understand cricket, but not for very long, I will be honest. It's also three hours long. Because that's how Bollywood movies roll. I think there might be an intermission. I'm not exactly sure. Alright, Luigi. Let's go! Let's go! Your claim to fame is owning Shrek on VHS. Oh my. I had an idea of something I wanted to do. And I needed to find out if the B movie was ever released on VHS for my silly idea. And I still don't know if it was or not. I think it came out at, at a time where it was possible it was also released on VHS, but I don't have any proof. It has the dance, a dance party at the end? That sounds right. I definitely watched Shrek on VHS and I think it was VHS, but was it on DVD? I don't remember now. Crap. It could have gone either way. Shrek was one of my little brother's favorite movies, and so we watched a lot of Shrek. Uh, he also liked... The Emperor's New Groove, which is a far better movie. Is there a Shrek SMW ROM hack? Uh, not to my knowledge, exactly. Um, I have seen a Shrek-inspired Boo in the in a ROM hack that I played once. I'm trying to... I do not recall the name of the, that hack, though. When you start the boo fight, he yells, Get out of my swamp! Um, and then it's a pretty standard boo fight, aside from the fact that it kind of looks vaguely Shrekish. I'd have to look at my moderation logs to tell you what, what hack it was, though. Give it time if there isn't Shrek, it's into everything. I believe it. I would believe it. Either way, I still want to know if the B-movie came out on VHS. And if it did, that would make my life, that would, that would make me pretty dang happy. Yeah, the low path seems to be the smart money here. B-movie was never on VHS. I am disappointed. You know, I think I'm just gonna go with the normal orientation of gravity here. Oh, my favorite ASM. maze with a bunch of fireballs and I can't even see the maze. 
Every time someone uses this ASM, somewhere a puppy gets kicked. Alright, can, can we not? Can, can we just chill on the fireballs now? Thank you. This looks like a pit. That was a pit. Mm. To this day, stay alive is 10%. Amazing. Edward Furlow, T2, starred in Brain Scan, which was a video game that caused a player to. Yes, I've seen Brain Scan. Brain Scan is hilarious. Uh, recreate gameplay murders in real life and some fugue stake, and then some trollish character emerges from the computer and makes them keep playing. Yes, that was weird. Gonna release an HD DVD version, but the format died. Yeah. When did you use this ASM, Faro? When did you use the, the spotlight one? Like, I get why people might want to use it, but it's just, it's unpleasant. I just, I just hate it. it. And that's just me. Not saying you can't use it. I'm just saying I personally hate it. It just makes every level kind of plotting. That's a fireball. RLA, your first standard project. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, the stupid idea I had was to actually, like, buy a booth at PAX or something and sell nothing but copies of the B-movie. Preferably signed by random people. Not like Jerry Seinfeld, just like Faro signed a copy or something. Uh, I fully admit this is a dumb idea. And probably a huge waste of money. And to be frank, the more I thought about it, the more I realized it was the ripoff of that Jerry Maguire thing that those guys did in L.A. But I still think it could be fun. I'm not certain I want to front to buy that many copies of, uh, of the B-movie, though. Like, I tried to figure out if you can actually buy, like, the same DVD in bulk, but I don't think this is something anybody normal wants to do, so. Got a sticker at TwitchCon signed by Pokemon. Oh, I even... Chat had to Jesus, it's been so long. Yes, I remember now. Yes, because you had that really cool, um, Fry Guy fight. It took me a minute. It took me a minute there. All right, let's try it as intended. Yeah, that was pretty much that. So you went to TwitchCon? How was that, Noah? Or did you just get the sticker from someone who went to TwitchCon? Is it TwitchCon still, like, going? It was this week. It was last weekend, right? Um, I read a very unfortunate bit where someone managed to injure themselves uh, doing some foam jousting. And by injure themselves, I mean, like, break their spine. Um, it looks like they didn't, they kind of, like, cheaped out on the foam, which, it's fucking foam. Don't cheap out on the foam. For the foam jousting pit. That, that, that's the way people get hurt. So. But that's literally all I heard about TwitchCon. Where the fuck am I? Okay, there's the pipe. Yeah, someone broke their back. That was it, yep. Finally, you've come to me. Is that an egg? Yeah, nothing. Yes, P purely decorative. Now. Prepare to die. Yeah, checkpoint where is a good question. Birdo? Is there, no, not Birdo. Uh... the boss. <laughs> oh, I beat him. What What did I do? I guess he jumped so high he despawned? I don't feel good about this, but okay. Hatching sounds. 
Did I win? I'm gonna put a marker down. I, th I think that, that his boss design might need work. <laughs> Have to go. My people need me. Exactly. How you doing, Fall Circus? Let me catch up for a sec. Got to be D4. Oh, nice! Saw the foam pits, they were not pitchers. Yeah, they definitely cheaped out on that. That should have been, like, much deeper. There is an NES Mario... There's plenty of them, actually. Um, Fistbit recommended extra Mario Bros, which I would stand by. Oh, activating Project Andromeda. I don't know what that is. Project Andromeda is now active. Objective, terminate Apple Boy. To be continued... I beat the level. Guess I should go back and, like, fight... Wait, why was there a wall there? Alright, so some things... Some things didn't work quite right. I'll, I'll definitely be sending some notes to Apple Boy. And there's the anticlimactic ending. Um... Do I want to go for a second lap on that boss? I'm not sure. That was weird. That was very weird. That ending. Thank you for the GGs.